was her shift at work um, but she didn't show up and so after a couple of calls we got the unfortunate news that she passed on. Rita has been my producer for the one o'clock bulletin uh, on Sundays for the past about five Sundays. Uh, today I didn't know that I would go on air and she wouldn't be there uh, to produce uh, this uh, bulletin. But aside from the beautiful last moments we be had with her during our, our lunch session with my colleague Duncan Aemba, I'd like to say that uh, we've lost a trailblazer. I remember when I was young, I'd look up to Rita Tinina as a female Maasai journalist. And that meant a lot, especially uh, with the retrogressive cultures around our community. And I, um, as much as I'm shocked, I also just want to celebrate her life. Assignment ya mwisho nilikuwa nayo juzi tu. Tulikuwa tumeenda Eldore um, Devolution Conference. Tulikuwa tumeenda kutoa matangazo kuhusu hafla hiyo ambayo ilikuwa imeleta pamoja magavana nchini. Nakumbuka hiyo siku tulifika usiku, hatikuwa na mahali pa kulala. Tukachukua chumba kimoja, nikalala naye kwa kitanda kimoja. na siku zote hizo ilikuwa tu Rita ni mwana habari ambaye bila shaka me kifo chake ni pigo kwetu sisi kama ona habari like it's a big blow but uh, just to confirm on Thursday when she, before she knocked off she was in the office because she was, was the one in charge of the evening bulletin and today when my colleague coincidentally was going on air called me and told me that uh, they can't reach her, we need to find out. It was very difficult to try and start making those calls to look for her. And sadly, I wanted to get in touch with the sister, I couldn't. But uh, my third call has confirmed the, the sad news. But as we've said, I think more will be coming from the family and the management. But we've really lost her. Uh, a precious soul.